Uh, hello everybody, Ian Rops here, welcome back to Mercury Farm. Alright, we're going to take out a little bit, or uh, do a little bit of combine this morning here. Going to get uh, this field done here. Now the one thing I might try is, uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy over here. And one of the things you can do, of course, it, with the auto drive is to see if it'll all automatically unload into the tra into uh, well, pick it up from the combine itself. So what I'm going to try here is just to set up a little course here. I uh, guess we can do it this way. Let's go. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what I want. So I'll do this, and then create a little stop up here, and we'll call it I don't know. F25 West, something like that. Just gonna nudge that out of the way. Let's go here and call it F25 West. And let's gonna connect this up with the rest of the rest of the uh, the field here. As what I'm not sure about is uh, how this actually works because I haven't done it before, but we'll we'll see. And then we'll just connect it up with, uh, I guess. Uh, uh, that right there. Okay. So now, if I wanted to go, if I wanted to go to that particular area, I can now at least. It's a very roundabout way of getting there, but it'll do it. All right, so let's set this guy up, and we'll set out set him up to pick up and deliver. Uh, we're picking up. Uh, we want this to be the main silo and F25 West, and that's on hide worker. He's probably gonna finish the field even before he even gets to the point where he's full. Let's just see what happens. Can't reach. Oh, I need to update the course here. That always helps. There, now you should be able to reach that. Now, I'm just going to let, let, let this guy sit here and see what happens. Because he may or may not go to the combine and pick it and unload the combine. Because I don't think it's going to be full, anyways. So. If I had to guess, at least. Yeah, only 42% full. And it doesn't work the, quite the same way as course play, so I can't just say, here, request it. So I think it only works if it's 100% full. And at this particular time, it's not, so. But we'll see. It's a very curious, uh, curious thing. So, as far as, when I saw, when I actually looked at the last time I saw that tutorial, it basically seemed like the combine had to be full for it to work at all. So, <clears throat> that's why I'm not sure if it's going to work right now or not, because I just don't have a full load. Basically, there's someone waiting in there though. So, so I suspect it'll have to be if this it gets full, and then it'll actually do it. So, well, we'll see. I could manually drive over there and unload into the combine too. That's also an option, I suppose. <laughs> Should really get rid of these bushes. They're just in the way. And you can drive through, which makes it even worse because it doesn't seem like you're like, well, I don't really need to take care of them because they're just there for show. But it looks ridiculous when you have a combine going through a giant bush like that. Yeah, it definitely does. All right, just finished up the last pass here. It's a giant combine for a tiny field, but it makes combining super quick in comparison to what it could be. So, which is why we have it in the first place. Yeah, it looks like it probably it would probably only do if it's full, and the pipe is sitting out. So, that's one I guess difference between course play and auto drive because auto drive will just do this, just kind of chill out there, uh, whereas 
with a course play, you can set it so it goes to unload the combine at a certain percentage, which is kind of nice. There we go. Let's go ahead and unload this. So 10,000 liters of canola there. It's not too bad. Let's put this in our trailer over here. Then we'll start another field over here. It's got beans in it. There we go. And now we need some lime. He's just going to chill out there. Well, I'm not sure if I can set it to continue or not. Well, I could move that. Let's do this. Let's grab the Mahindra Retriever. I should really just pick up the uh, the John Deere uh, A65. See, as it's mostly a green farm. I don't know if in real life we'd probably be able to move the trailer empty, but I'm not sure if we'd be able to move it full. Because imagine, I don't know. I'm not sure how much uh, a header uh, weighs. But I suspect it's probably more than a uh, thousand pounds, which is pretty normal pulling capacity for something like this. Maybe the Mahindra's more, I don't know. There we go, pull it off to the side. Good. Let's move to their field here. And I think I opened it up just enough so I can actually just drive right in there with the header on. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect. Not bad at all. Just do a headlight on this side and then we'll hire a worker for the rest of that. And we'll see if we can't get it done. And the other field that we have, I probably will just be like, would be like two passes with this header on it. Probably should start c connecting some fields up to make it in a bit more worthwhile, like these two, for example. All right, there we go. There's our canola going into the drop-off area right there. Also, the dualies that weren't a good choice uh, for going through that little narrow opening over there. Now he's going to go back to. I'm not sure what, the, what it's going to do here. I guess, oh, actually you can just go straight out that way, it looks like. It's not too bad, I suppose. It's going to sit and wait there. At that location once again. Right, let's go ahead and put some lime down that field. Apparently we needed some lime on there. Let's go ahead and do that now. I guess that is too close for comfort for that tractor. There you go. And put a little bit of lime down in this field now. And let's see what we got going on next here. Yeah, it says we need some lime on here. So Let's see, we did have a course spray 24 meters. I don't think this sprays at 24. Fertilizer. Oh yes, they did change the screen, didn't they? Fuel edge path, headland, we'll do short edges. Or around. Short edges, I guess we'll call it that. And we'll do clockwise, headland pass just one, up and down, bypass, no. And 12 meters, I guess that's the width. Is that really just the working width of this thing? I always forget what the working width is without the extra. Yeah, that's 12 meters without the extra spreading disks. Okay, course play, apparently you were right. Let's go ahead and generate that course. Couldn't generate the course, okay. Oh, I know why. Uh, let's go here, field 25, there we go. That'll probably help. 
and we can call this one F F25 12 meter lime and we'll see how that works out there mm, derive at start at first waypoint right there so I should have had so it returns to its first waypoint but it does not at the moment which is a bit of a pain but whatever let's see here most of the time I'm just trying I'm just trying these things out because I'm kind of curious how it actually is going to work yeah I guess I need lime already Combines fifty prefer fifty eight percent full. There's that course right there that we kind of made. Well, we didn't kind of made. We did make it. Let's go ahead and get up to our combine over here. Unload it. I kind of like having a big combine in a smaller field. Definitely makes the job super quick. Instead of having to wait for ages to get things done. Nice to be able to get it done in like, you know, a few minutes. Eventually the farm will get bigger. I don't know if we have any big fields on this map. I guess 51 on the far north side up there. That's probably your biggest field. Alright, let's take the lines off. And we can take this off as well. There we go. Now it doesn't look so crazy on the screen. Alright. There we go, get lined up. This is the hard part, lining yourself up. I used to do it all the time with, with GPS. But now I don't, uh, it's not quite as quick to set things up like that. I mean, it's still possible, but not as nice there we go probably needs to be oh, we got one more pass left looks like one in a bit there we go let's do its thing there and he's doing that same sort of that's a short edge style so it's making sure it gets all the edges which isn't too bad. Does a pretty good job, I suppose. Better than I can do, at least. Well, I suppose I could do a good job. It just takes forever. Yeah, it's kind of interesting the way that that works. So it kind of does this, and then kind of backs up and goes here, and kind of turns and backs up and goes here, and does the same thing over there. Yeah, I don't know. I like I like that particular course generation. Although I did, was cautioned by somebody the other day saying. You know, be careful of that because, you know, even though it looks nice in that one example, it's not always going to be that nice, which is, you know, makes sense. It makes sense because oftentimes you'll run into that situation where it's not uh, not a perfect world, which is to be expected. And this also needs lime apparently as well. Okay. But it doesn't need to be... Apparently I can't just jump into that one. But it doesn't need to be plowed this time, so. Alright. Let's finish this last little bit up here. And that'll be that. That'll be two, few, two fields done, basically. And we do have that thir third field, but we haven't touched it yet, so. But like I said, it'll probably take a pass. And that'll be it, basically. Alright, let's get that little bit done there. All right, and that's that field done right there. And I think with that, folks, we're going to call it a day. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more FS19. I'll catch you guys later.